I was sitting at lunch with a friend of mine a couple months ago when he recounted the devastating news. How a couple years prior, his little five-year-old girl, Lenya, five days before Christmas, suddenly had an asthma attack, died, and went to heaven. All within just a couple of minutes. I've been thinking of that moment since we had lunch and I haven't been able to shake both the incredible ache and grief that comes our way in this life, but also the not of this world hope that he displayed coming from his words when he spoke. See, a lot of times when life begins to crush us, we hide or mask our pain behind our abstract questions like, where was God when I was hurting? Or if God is God, why does he let bad things happen? Or why does evil exist? And some of us, in that moment, we walk away from God bitter, not realizing that when we wave the finger at him, we are actually forfeiting the very thing that'll give us peace we so desperately need in that moment. Also, I don't think we realize that a lot of times, even if we got an answer to those questions, I still don't think it'd satisfy us. It wouldn't take away the pain. It wouldn't give us hope. But see, what does is when death and suffering and brokenness get thrown at us and everything in us screams, God, where are you? That in that moment, we might have ears to hear that small whisper in our soul that says, I'm right here next to you. I love you. I'm not going anywhere. You are not alone. And see, that is what changes a heart. That is what gives life. That is what hope feels like, that we are not alone, that God has not left us out in the cold. See, the Christian God is a God who suffers, a God who enters into our world, came on our turf, and identifies with our pain. No other God can claim that. No other God does that. Only the God found in Jesus. See, when we look up, we see not a God who is high and lofty and distant, but one who is bloodied, who is tortured, and who is alone. The one who said, I will go before them, and I will drink death's cup so that they don't have to. See, he takes that weight and that hurt and that shame, and he absorbs it on the cross. In the peculiar moment of seemingly one of the biggest defeats in all of human history, he was actually victorious. The lamb that was slain steps out of the grave three days later like a lion, and ever since, the world has never been the same. See, death died that day. I love how John Stott puts it. He says, we have to learn to climb the hill called Calvary and from that vantage point survey all of life's tragedies because the cross does not solve the problem of suffering, but it supplies the essential perspective from which to look at it. See, sometimes God, we picture him as lounging, perhaps dozing in some celestial deck chair while the hungry millions starve to death. But yet it is this terrible character of God which the cross of Jesus completely smashes to smithereens. And since we are not alone, but we follow the one who defeated death, when it comes, we can stare it right in the face and say, you do not have the last word. See, Jesus is alive, and so death, where is your sting? Hey guys, Jeff here. Thank you for watching this video. A lot of you will ask me what inspired the video or where did it come from, and this video specifically was inspired by uh, my buddy's book, Levi Lusco, Through the Eyes of a Lion, and it recounts the story I talked about in this video with his little five-year-old girl, Lenya, who's down here in the cover. It's an incredible book. Both me and Alyssa were blessed and encouraged by it immensely, and we read it in just a couple days, so make sure to check it out. I'll put a link down there in the description. I suggest it to everyone. It's an amazing book. Also, we haven't done a teaching video in a long time, so thank you guys for watching this. We're going to do a lot more this fall, so let me know down in the comments if you want to see that, and make sure to subscribe so you can get those in your inbox when they come out. But that's all I got. Love you guys. Talk to you later.